Hi everyone, Bonnie English here. Now a really useful addition to anybody's DIY motorcycle toolkit is a set of calipers. Calipers are used to measure internal measurements, external measurements and depth. So for things like measuring your brakes or the stretch of your chain, calipers are a really handy tool to have. So there are many different types of calipers, but for the purposes of doing DIY on your motorcycle, there really are mainly two. The first is the vernier caliper. This is the standard version. You can get digital, which I'll show you in a second. The jaws on this caliper at the bottom here measure external measurements. The jaws at the top are for measuring internal measurements and this part here measures depth. The ruler along the middle here is broken up into imperial at the top and metric measurements down the bottom. Here is the digital version, which is pretty much exactly the same, apart from your measurements are recorded in the digital screen here. We also have a micrometer here, which is a bit more of a specialist caliper which I will go into later on. So the hardest part about using calipers is reading the scale. And this is what puts most people off using them. Let me try and demystify this for you. So whether we're measuring the external, internal or depth of an object, reading the scale is done in exactly the same way. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate how to measure the external diameter of this nut here. First of all, I'm going to open the jaws up of the calipers and I'm going to close them around the nut. So we start by looking for our largest number, the number that will go before the decimal point. We work our way along the main ruler line. We have our 10 millimeter mark here, or one centimeter. And then we're looking for this zero here. And where it goes past the very first um, millimeter line, that's the number we're going to write down. So in this case, it's gone past the 11 millimeter line just. So that will be our first number, 11. Then our decimal point. Now we're going to be looking at this bottom line a bit more carefully here. And what we're looking for is a line that matches up exactly with one of these lines on the ruler line. It's quite tricky to see, but if we go along, we can see that the first line that matches up is this one here. This is our one tenth of a millimeter. So we'll write our one here, one tenth. And as you can see, the next number is going to be between the one and the two. So that will be our five hundredths of a millimeter. So that is our next number. Like so. So our final measurement is 11.15 millimeters. So if maths wasn't your favourite subject at school and you prefer something a little less complicated, go out and get yourself a set of digital calipers. Now, of course, they range in price. I've seen them in moto shops for up to 100 plus um, pounds. I picked up these ones for about 25 pounds from a very well-known German supermarket and they do just as well. So let's see how accurate my measurement was. So when you're using the digital calipers, the first thing you need to do is to turn them on, like so. Check that it's at, all the numbers are at zero. If not, press the zero button. That's really important. Next, we use this wheel here to open the jaws of the calipers. And then we close them around the object, like so. Reading the measurement here, you can see that it's spot on, 11.15.
Now these particular calipers you can use the little knob at the top here to lock the calipers in place. That way you're retaining the measurement and you can then use that and transfer it onto other things that you might be measuring. So let's look at how we do an internal measurement. Pretty much the same process. You turn the calipers on, you make sure that it's set to zero, and we're going to measure the internal measurement of this electrical lug here. So we get the calipers, we pop it onto the inside of what we're measuring, we use the wheel to open up the calipers to take our reading. So here we have a measurement of 8.15 millimetres. So finally, let's look at how we measure the depth of an object. Same again, we turn our calipers on, we make sure they're set to zero, and we extend the calipers out further than the depth of the object that we're wanting to measure. I can then place my object here, push the calipers in, and take my reading. So in this case, it's 17.44. So we said that the micrometer is a bit more of a specialist tool. I want to measure the wear on my brake discs. The vernier caliper would be no good for this because it would just measure the outside edge. The micrometer comes into its own because it measures objects which might have a lip, just like the brake disc here. So that's what I'm going to use for this task. So the micrometer is a useful tool for when you're measuring things with a bit of a lip, such as brake discs. So there are two scales that you need to read to take a measurement. Your first scale, this one here, measures your whole millimetres. At the moment, this one's measuring six millimetres. This dial on the left here measures tenths and hundredths of a millimetre. By rotating it one full turn, like so, and back to zero again, you have now measured an extra 0.5 of a millimeter. If I keep rotating it round again, this takes us back round to zero. Two rotations equal one whole millimeter. So by way of example, we're, at the moment we're measuring seven millimeters. By rotating this dial on the left here, we would be measuring 7.05, 7.1, 7 7.15, and so on. Once we've done one rotation and back to zero again, we'll be measuring 7.5. If we keep going, we'll be measuring 7.55, 7.6, and so on, 7.65, until we get back to the next whole millimetre, which would be eight millimetres. So at the moment, our micrometer is measuring six millimetres. I'm going to do one rotation, which will take us to 5.5 millimetres. But we're not there yet. We'll keep on rotating and we'll take it down as far as it will go and stop there. So we're just below five millimeters. We're on our second rotation, so we're on 4.98 millimeters. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video and you found it informative. If you did, I'm Bonnie English. Please like or subscribe.